is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, usually the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon. It's my pleasure to be here for the 3 p.m. last hour of the trading week because tomorrow is a holiday. And uh, happy Easter and happy Passover to those celebrating. Let's get to the market. The Dow's up 148 at 26,595. Just broke some key uh, resistance. Uh, days young. We can still have anything happen. But right now, it's in the 26,000 high 500s. That's really important because it's got the MACD and stochastic, you can see right here, are acting very well. And that says that any really bad news events coming up over the next week or two should make the 26,200 level the first key support. But if it continues, then you'd see something going back to the 26,000 area, 25,500. Most importantly right here is that the weekly chart has made a really strong V-shaped pattern and the high of all time high in the Dow, 26,951 from October, is just within, uh, it's within an eye blink, in fact, within a day or two of being reached. My, my thinking was that we would stall before going there. We'll see if that happens. You've got the S&P, which is being dragged up, funnily enough, by the Dow. The Dow is up 0.53%. The S&P is only up 0.24%, but it is good action, and it needs to uh, climb above the high of Yesterday, 29.18, round number high. Needs to get above that. Right now, it looks like it very well could have a choppy sideways action. And the QQQ, which was the really a fantastic leading indicator for the overall market, made an all-time high uh, yesterday. And it's just under that today. Very good action, 187.37. But it's only up 0.12, 0.12%. What's interesting is that the um, IWM, the Russell 2000, we'll go through that in this coming hour, is, is weak. It's, it's not as strong as the others. Gold, which um, has had a very poor week, is down only 0.7 at 1276. But it's, as I say, it's had a tough week, and the dollar has been the beneficiary of that. The dollar is up huge. It's up at 97.47, up 0.46. That's really nice action. It needs to get above 97.71 in the dollar index to be able to really break out in the weekly chart and start the monthly chart, what we call a leg C to the upside. This is Basil Chapman, 3 p.m. update. I'll be back here for the Tom O'Brien Show. It's my pleasure to be there. Hope you can stay tuned. Otherwise, have a wonderful long weekend and a wonderful Easter and Passover. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you, something specifically formulated to help.